Hello, it's Matt. Welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, we're going to be looking at something called audience targeting in SharePoint. This is a new feature in Modern Pages that allows you to target your content to a specific audience based on their group membership. As an example, here I have two browsers open at the same page. It's the home page for my new site. In this browser, I'm logged in as Matt and I'm looking at the news web part, which is a carousel and there are four items of news. If I now switch to another browser where I'm logged in as Megan, she can only see three news items in the carousel. That's because the missing news page is targeted to an audience which consists of groups that she is not a member of. So let's look at how I did that. Audiences are turned on at the library level. And this means that wherever you want to filter by audience, you need to configure the individual libraries. In this new site, I want to set the audiences for the site pages library. This site is a communication site, but it works the same for team sites. I go to the site contents page and open up the site pages library. Then I go to the settings wheel and the library settings. From the general settings section, I choose audience targeting settings. And then check the enable audience targeting option and then choose OK. Once that's done, I can select any page in the library and choose an audience. If I select this audience test page and then open up the details pane and scroll down, I'll see an audience property that allows me to choose which audience I want to see the page. I just need to start typing the name of an existing group and it will suggest some matches. Once I've selected the groups, only those groups will see the page. I can also do this for individual news items in a web part, as I showed you at the start of the video. So let's go to the home page and I'll show you what I mean. On the home page, I have a news web part set up with a carousel already in it. I can choose the edit button to edit this page and then I select the news web part and choose the properties button. I then need to scroll down to the section called filter and toggle on the enable audience targeting button. Then I just need to republish the page. Once I've done that, the result is that people who are not in the groups that I chose for the audience will not see this news item on their homepage. As well as the homepage of the site where I set up the audience targeting, we'll see the same filtering on the hub site homepages and the SharePoint start page. So that's all you need to know about audience targeting in SharePoint. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.